I feel like I have something to contribute to the dialogue um, that is already very vibrant and, and also very contentious around how to sustainably reform schools. I launched a not-for-profit organization, the Essence Program, in 2005. Essence has a, a very simple goal. It's to integrate into the standard K-12 curriculum for English language arts and social studies instruction information about the life history and culture of African Americans in the state of Louisiana. The Essence Program operates on the premise that if students see themselves in what they learn, they will want to learn and they will learn and excel. Studies show that when students have the ability to relate and to connect to what they're learning, then it makes the process a lot easier. The best and most cost efficient model would be one that actually starts at home. Using what is most familiar to us, what is around us, what surrounds us, our natural resources, our cultural resources, as a way to invest students. Why not experiment with a model that proposes to use local resources and cultural resources to, um, to teach students and to build uh, their knowledge. The Social and Innovation Social Entrepreneurship Initiative has been one way for me to articulate uh, what I'm invested in as a scholar and as a researcher. I feel very much an obligation um, as a fledgling social innovation, social entrepreneur, scholar uh, to contribute to that conversation about how to do this kind of work. This university has made a commitment to cultivating opportunities for undergraduate students to be the change makers. Tulane has created a space for um, all of this to happen at the same time, right? That students are continuing to be challenged academically. There's still rigor in, in how we are training our students to think critically, but we are also providing them um, various spaces where they can actually apply and begin to, to troubleshoot that process of taking what you've learned on a theory level or what you've generated at the level of idea and applying it to a real, real world context and making the adjustments that are necessary.